So, quick notes about lion control. Technically, you can always use a ruler, but it's nice to be able to not use a ruler, simply because the first time you put a perfectly ruled line on the page, all the non-ruled lines look wrong, or tend to. So, the more you can freehand a fairly straight line, the better, more integrated, more organic, yet still precise you can make your art. Lines, while still keeping them relatively straight. Your arm swings on the elbow or the wrist and, and an arch. That's the wrist. That's the elbow. You can see there's a, a natural curve to that. Um, that's actually useful to keep in mind and instinctively know what the radius is, uh, what the angle of the curvature is. Um, it's affected, of course, by which grip you use. If I hold an extended tripod, I make a, a wider arch, but the angle's the same. Um, and uh, to compensate, you basically kind of reach out with your fingers. I'm going to exaggerate for the camera. It's like this sort of shape, I always say, but usually subtler than that. And with just sort of that move, I can keep going a little bit, but it starts getting uncomfortable. So usually that's about two and a half inches or so. I can go that way before I like to readjust. And I can draw a fairly straight line in increments that way. You can also use your elbow and then try to relax and do the same thing, reaching out slowly, compensating for the curve. And that's usually about as far as I can do it comfortably. So roughly the length of my pencil. Um, it's not perfect, but you can actually practice a fair bit and get close to perfect. And that's a good, good way to just practice doing that. One way you can help yourself, give yourself a track. You know, use a, a colored pencil, maybe. I'm going to use a blue one. And now try to draw over that track. Now, I'm positioning my elbow at right angles to this line, like a T. And I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to make a point of resting my elbow so I can come in tighter to myself and reach out to the med mediums here. And now I'm going to attempt to trace the line repeatedly. And I want to attempt to not thicken the line as much as possible. Sometimes it will a little bit. If you do anything, try to even those out. But don't get the line super thick. See how it's getting thicker there? I want to watch that. Do it as many times as you can. This is very similar to an exercise you'll have seen from Peter Han, and uh, it's also something that I recall seeing being done a long time ago. I think it's a very classical draftsman's exercise. You can, well, one recommendation Peter Hand makes is holding your pencil very vertical. And then, if I'm not mistaken, he's possibly using a, a Japanese calligraphy grip, or maybe he just thinks vertical. But I was recently, I used to think Japanese or Asian calligraphy pen grips was like with three fingers on one side. But it pointed out to me that it's actually this way. And you keep your wrist sort of at right angles to the table. I'm going to have to readjust myself. It's a new one for me. I'm still not entirely sure about it, but I do find that it's very comfortable. I'm a little shaky with it because it's a novel one for me, but that's exactly the sort of thing these exercises are for. If you discover a new grip or a new thing, return to them to practice once more and refine your skills. So, you know, do that as many times as you can tolerate. You can say 10, 15 times would be good. You can do more if you want to really be crazy. But all a dedicated practice should be fairly focused. So I recommend don't do this sort of thing for very long. Uh, you know, four or five times, ten times each should be long enough. Practice some shorter ones. Practice longer ones. See how far you can go with it until it breaks down. Usually a little bit of speed is good for smoothing out wiggles. Once you get comfortable with the movement, making it as a quick stroke and still trying to keep it really straight is the way to up the game. Uh, a little wavy, but you know, 
for this far. Uh, nice, it's fairly straight, yet just for line. Great for cartooning, great for drafting in general, and keeping these organic so that when you put that first root line, it either stands out or, you know, don't have those, and these all have, uh, they look less wrong before that was there. And once I put it there, suddenly all the quirky characters become potentially useful uh, in an expressive drawing. Uh, practice it in some of the grips, like the side for shading. This is the, the overhand. On the other hand, that doesn't really work for this pencil. But and these movements are actually coming from my shoulder and elbow. In this case, I'm unfolding my elbow and coming forward with my shoulder a bit. And that is a good basic linear control exercise. Oh yeah, and Patreon. You know, if you pledge to my Patreon, you'll help me get my comics done and also free up more time for things like this. Uh, the $1 a month is really helpful. $2 a month, you become a digital subscriber. You get access to all my uh, self-published work in future and past via the Patreon. Uh, you also uh, can pledge more to become a student uh, or get sketches. And uh, There's a couple of categories. Go check it out. See if there's something that suits you. Um, Thanks this month for patronage support from my amazing patrons for the last year and a half. It's about a year and a half. Uh, there's an anonymous one whom I will not name, but thank you very much for your deep support. Also, Schindler, Dan, Simon, Nicholas, Michelle, Emil, David, Paolo, Nicholas again, Hans, Dubens, Michelle, Joris, Dwayne, Chris, Andrew, Ian, Tony, Tim, George, James, Omid, and Attila. Thank you all very much for your patronage support on Patreon. It's been really helpful, actually. And I uh, uh, hope going forward we can grow this thing into a monster. Well, you know, at least my own personal self-publishing empire. Uh, I like to hope one day that the Patreon will function as sort of a, a, a loose, in-kind sort of subscription to all my comics and things. And we're slowly getting there. So check it out. And uh, I will see you next time, internets. Keep doodling.